everybody, it's Bunny. This is gonna be a short, impromptu, paranormal vlog. I was out here filming on this creepy bus, which I've talked about. I showed you guys this bus in like one other video a long time ago or a couple weeks ago. I don't remember if it was a shoe unboxing or what. I'm sorry, there's mosquitoes everywhere. I came out here earlier today to film like the walking part of a shoe unboxing and I saw that the doors to this bus were open again and I don't know if kids are messing around with stuff because it's summer or what's going on but I have been shooting for this little casual summer lookbook that I don't I don't know if this video is going to come out before or after that we will see so I came up here to shoot some still pictures for like the cover of the lookbook I thought I would stand in the doors of the creep bus and I don't know like what it is about this bus but I swear there's something going on with this bus and it's this particular bus which is bus 933. I know a lot of you guys like my paranormal videos and stuff so I'm really thinking about doing some research about this school and I swear I've had 37 really weird experiences standing in the creep bus for like 45 minutes taking these still photos today. The very first time that I climbed in here to stand and I was actually standing on like the top step but I got in here and like literally it is dead summer of oh my god I swear I just heard <sighs> paranormal activities this is like so uncomfortable right now I was standing on the top step and I swear there is no breeze here right now none whatsoever it is like that was so hilarious I got to the most intense part of this story I swear I keep hearing things. If y'all hear any EVPs or anything, y'all let me know, seriously. I got to this top step and it felt like something brushed behind me and like lightly touched my hair. It is the heat hot summer of Texas. There ain't no breeze here right now. So it can't just be like the wind. Plus I'm in like this barrier area, you know? So even if there was a wind, it wouldn't make any sense that it would like blow the back of my hair. I've also heard like little scuttling, like scuttering noises in the back of this bus. I have no idea how old this bus is. This bus has been sitting here literally for months and months and months. If you guys have watched my videos for any amount of time, then y'all know that the school that I'm filming at right now, it's completely abandoned. So no students have been here for literally like, I don't even know, like seven, eight years, maybe a little bit more. And they just kind of use this building to keep old buses and whatever that I guess are broken down or maybe that they're not using anymore. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna show y'all a couple shots of like the front of the bus. I feel like this is like the weirdest thing to make a paranormal video about and I didn't come out here with the intentions of doing any such of a thing, but it's like I keep, like anytime I'd be standing in these doors, like for the past 45 minutes taking photos and whatever, it's like things kept like going, you know how you just like see a shadow in the peripheral of your vision, or you hear something like kind of off in the distance, and I mean like I said, it is an old bus, but I don't think that my standing on it up here in the front would cause it to rattle back there and there's no wind so there's no wind like shaking the bus or anything i don't really know where this is coming from or what it would be caused by i've actually only stepped in this bus one other time just kind of being silly at the end of that video but i keep like kind of wanting to maybe bring my ghost box and do a session around here i don't know like sometimes i hear just like strange noises and i should really like take you guys back to this other section this whole place is this place is huge okay like I just film in the same little section because I got used to it I'm kind of like a creature of habit but this place is actually like a compound it's huge I'm kind of calming down a little bit right now but it's been kind of like an intense 45 minutes I'm not really enjoying shooting pictures here anymore so I think I'm gonna stop let me know in the comments down below if you guys would want me to do a ghost box session inside this bus i don't know exactly how well that would work with reception and everything because the ghost box works off a radio so i don't know if we'd get something or if we'd get anything or if for some reason this is all in my head i don't have any irrational fear of buses I okay i'm getting up right now that was too creepy I'm gonna like stick the camera in the bus so I don't have to walk to the back of the bus. <laughs> I've never been afraid of any of this stuff. I don't know what's going on lately. We can get like a bird's eye view. Let me know if you guys see anything creepy back there. 
I don't know. How creepy is the creep bus? On a scale of 1 to 10. Some kind of creepy surveillance. I just don't feel... I don't feel good vibrations. See how it's all like peeled and totally disgusting? I mean, this is definitely ye old bus. Maybe I'm making kind of a big deal out of this, but literally, like, I honestly had really like 50 grotesque totally creepy things going on here i'm sorry i'm so distract distractible right now distracting i don't even know where i'm holding the camera anymore this is great i'm just gonna prop my tripod up on the front of the bus i'm sorry if this is the most grotesque camera angle you have ever seen this is just definitely the creepiest bus i've ever been on in around and i definitely probably don't want to mess with it anymore I don't know. I mean, obviously the doors being open and closed could totally be tampered with by a kid or like just somebody messing around or whatever, but it's just kind of weird because I never see anybody else over here except for me and like stuff is always kind of moving around in the bus, like trash cans in the bus and fire extinguishers in the bus. But then again, like I said, I can't vouch for, oh, hey, there's like a little, um, there's like an old inspection sticker in here that might... Tell us nothing. I don't know if it's a haunted bus. I keep seeing shadows. I felt like something touched my hair. I felt like something walked behind me. Literally what it just felt like is like if you're on a set of bleachers and like somebody walks behind you and you know how it's like you can feel something like step around where you're sitting. I hope that makes sense, but that's the sensation that I just felt a while ago. And I honestly keep feeling like out of my peripheral vision that I keep seeing things going on over there and I keep like getting the image of a boy in my head. I don't know what any of this means. Ugh. It's just like normally I don't get really really strong feelings like this unless something's actually up So maybe there is some activity in the haunted bus So just let me know in comments down below if you guys would want me to vlog about this Or see if I can do some research on this bus It would be kind of interesting to maybe see if I can find out what's up with bus number 933 I can't say that I've ever heard of any deaths going on in this school, but then again, this school is really, 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 really old. I think that it's been used since like 1910 or something. I think that this is the first school that was here in this town. Hope you guys enjoyed my little impromptu paranormal vlog. I'm sorry I was all over the place and not very focused, but this is the first time that I've ever been like, in the moment with this situation while vlogging so it's kind of super super duper weird and this is like the strongest feelings that I've got in a while and this is the first time I've spent any amount of time in the bus because when I did that other little vlog that I just like showed you guys I literally just went in and went out because I had like really intense like kind of weird vibes so I don't know. May take a little preparation, a little research. Uh, so it probably won't be up next week or anything, but I'd like to know if you guys are interested down below. And uh, then maybe I can even do like some updated vlogs if I find anything. I guess if I don't find anything, then there would be nothing to further report. But I just saw something move and now I'm pointing at it and I feel bad for that. If you like paranormal stuff, you like ghost stuff, please take a minute to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. I'm sorry for the craziness. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram at graveyard girl and i'll see you guys later sorry for all the camera i'm like holding my tripod right now as if it were a monopod and it's not um see you guys later bye